Hey, if you guys seen Coop, we gotta start filming. Hey, uh, I think I got the lights done. I just installed them. Do you mind go flick the switch? I wanna see if they're working. Oh my goodness, they're incredible! Coop, could you, could you not do that? It's not super safe. Shut it up! Shut it up! Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today we are in the new garage gym. As you see, we are gonna do a home gym series. So I'm gonna walk through all the decisions I made essentially to build what I think is the ultimate garage gym. This is the best one I've ever built. And so today we're gonna to talk about the electrical stuff. So we're gonna talk specifically about the lighting, sound, so we're talking speakers, things like that, also garage door openers, because you may not think like, oh, garage door opener, what a big deal, but if you're in a garage gym, like you're using them a lot. So I've got two different ones that I chose, and they are epic. So without further ado, Sam, you okay? Let's get into it. When you're building a home gym, everybody thinks about the equipment, and that's what we review mainly. But there's other things involved in building a home gym that we've seen through the Home Gym Community Facebook group that are like recommendations, things that I've bought, and the ultimate goal is like to make a space you wanna spend time in and that makes you wanna train. And one element that I feel like a lot of people overlook and they end up just like buying something random or using what's there is lighting. Ah. Now there are a lot of lighting options that are out there. I researched quite a few, and there's a few different options that are available. Number one, the option that I'd recommend for most people is not this option, because this option is a little bit more expensive. So, but for most people, the recommendation I'd have is a company called Barina. These are LED lights you can get on Amazon. They range anywhere from like 30 to 60 bucks for a ton of them. You don't have to hardwire them. They're super easy to put up. They've got tons of positive reviews. And I would say that a majority of people that are changing their lights over in a garage gym in our community, in the Facebook group, are using those lights. They just work extremely well. They're basically the stall mats of the lighting industry. So it's a perfect comparison. Now these though, these are a little bit higher end, a little bit extra, a little bit coupified. These are the Prime Lights Bolt Series. So instead of having two bulbs on each one, they actually have six total. They're eight footers, very long, LED with frosted tubes. The reason frosted's nice is because it just like puts the lighting out a little bit further. They have metal housing, they're made in the USA. Lighting is something we're spending a little bit more on because you're never really gonna have to change an LED bulb versus a halogen. They're going to save you on energy and they look better overall. Those are the two options I would look at. There's others as well, but I think most people, Brina is the option. If you want to go to the upgrade version, I've either used these, which is the Bolt from Prime Lights. They also have a version called, I think the Shark or something like that, which is a little bit like smaller tubes. I've used those in the old garage gym. They worked as well, but I prefer these. Okay, next is garage door openers. There are a lot of garage door openers. And most of the time you just use the chain driven version you've got in the middle. The problem with that is it makes a lot of noise. It's in the way. There's some that have a lot more features. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the one I've got in the two car garage. And that is this side mount from LiftMaster. I think it's 8500W. I've used side mounts in the past. I've talked about them in the past. The big benefit to this outside of just like the smart features like Wi-Fi, is the fact that one, it's quiet, and two, there's no overhead door, which means all this space you see here is uninterrupted and you can lift overhead here without any problems. But the other one is a new one that LiftMaster has come out with, and it's here in this one car garage. Number one, it's the sexiest. I don't even know you can, do people really talk about this in relation to garage door openers? They should. This is the sexiest garage door opener I have ever seen. This is the LiftMaster Secure View. You can tell like the LED baffle around the edge. It's belt driven, which means it's also extremely quiet. Also belt drives really never break down. It's the reason they're adding them to bikes. Same things they use in cars. Belts are just way better than chains. It's got lots of different features. Like I've said, one of the best obviously is the camera. When you have people that come that you don't want them to come, like my production manager, Sam, that shows up unmomentarily without letting me know. Oh shoot, freaking Sam, gosh dang it. Thankfully, I can close my garage door. Poor Sam. <laughs> no, go away, Sam. I don't even have to worry about it. I can just sit back. <sighs> so, if you're trying to upgrade your garage door, either of these options will work. Just depends if you want a side mount or you want something overhead with a lot of smart features. 
But I would recommend a lot of people out there, if you're tired of your garage door, upgrade because you're using it a lot. It'll make it a better experience. All right, the last thing I wanna hit on is sound. So you obviously want like freaking beats bumping when you're training, the louder the better, but you wanna be able to control it. You want it to be easy to use. Obviously you can go with something like a Bluetooth speaker, but I have been using Sonos speakers for maybe two years now. I have like 12 of them all throughout my house. So it kind of made sense that I was gonna add them to the garage. The reason I like Sonos speakers outside of them just sounding good is one, the Wi-Fi capability. So like I can play individual speakers from AirPlay from my phone. I can connect to them very seamlessly. I can have them playing all at once or all separately. They sound incredible. They're very small, easy to put up while providing a big bang for the buck. They're not the cheapest speakers that are out there, but if I was gonna recommend like one speaker for most home gyms, Outside of like a cheaper Bluetooth speaker, like if you're gonna mount them, you don't wanna hardwire and run all this cabling, this is the way to go. They plug into a standard outlet. I've got one here, one in this corner, and then one in the one car garage as well. They all play seamlessly. They all sound just incredible. They didn't take a lot of time to put up. And honestly, like we see this in the home gym community, when people ask what speaker should I get for my home gym, almost every time, everybody with a Sonos sounds off and says, I've got Sonos, I absolutely love it. That doesn't mean there's not like quirks, obviously everything has problems, but it is a very well-designed product. So I would definitely recommend those. Outside of that, go with a cheaper Bluetooth speaker. So that's kind of what I've done with the lighting. I've got lighting, we've got electrical as far as the uh, speaker system, we've got our garage door openers. Next, we're gonna be talking about flooring, we're gonna be talking about equipment, and some other options including insulation and heating in the garage. So if you like this type of stuff, you're trying to build a home gym, trying to level up your garage gym, let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the future episodes. This has been Coop, this is my new garage gym. We'll see you next time. Peace.